I'm starting to think of my life as a series of tragic events having to do with things. <laughs> Hi guys, I was thinking about uh, what to make for a video this week and um, a couple of things have come to my mind, but um, in the last uh, 72 hours, I have experienced more than I have in 10 years. I'm going to tell you guys about the time I got lice. What are lice? Funny, you should ask. Uh, lice are a parasitic bug that end up uh, being transferred from person to person or by person to object or person from object. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this is not an ordinary lice. This was an infestation. So I started realizing that I had an itch on my head. Now I have had fifth disease twice and I had a very similar fifth disease rash on my skin. So I was like, okay, maybe I have fifth disease again. I just had a fever and uh, maybe this is just another reoccurrence of the same disease. I mean, it's rare, but it's not unheard of. So I was just like, okay, you know, I've had every illness known in the book. So I don't see why I wouldn't get it again. That's when I noticed a couple different things started to show up. I have uh, lymph nodes on my neck, which um, lymph nodes are nerves, are like nerve packets in your neck that um, that have to uh, do with your uh, immune system and all the other things, and they connect to your brain. And uh, I have four on my neck that are swollen, and um, they go up and down um, depending on how swollen they are, and usually that has to do with either an infection and um, a used to do with an infection, a uh, allergic reaction, or uh, something bit you. And then things started getting weird. Uh, I was at dinner with my parents and my sisters. We were just eating and this bug was on my arm and I freaked out because I hate bugs. And I brought it to my dad and I was like, and I told my dad, I was like, what is this? What is this? I don't know what it is. And he didn't know either, so he killed it. I couldn't squish it between my fingers. I couldn't do anything to it. And so my mom was like, check your room. Uh, so maybe there's something in your room. Maybe it's just a bug from your room. And I was like, wouldn't put it past it again, uh, just because I hadn't cleaned in a week. And I was like, I need to clean. So there could be bugs. Then more things started showing up. The bugs showed up again. And then it showed up again. I also started getting uh, an itchy scalp, which I assumed was just the virus and that the rash had spread up to my to my head. Uh, before I go any farther, my hair is my baby. I don't mess with that. I clean it. I clean my hair like it's my life. It's I take so much pride in my hair and I clean it and clean it and clean it and clean it. When there was nothing there, uh, it was just itching. I didn't really know what to do other than that. Now it's just okay. It'll go away eventually, and um, I started using dandruff shampoo and all sorts of stuff, thinking maybe it was psoriasis, and it didn't turn out to be psoriasis. <laughs> um, three days, two and a half days ago, I went to my mom, and I'd found a bug again on my phone when we were at Target. And I went to my mom, and I said, uh, and I told her about the bug. She's like, and then she said, you know, let me check your hair. I leaned down, and she looks in my hair, and my sister's there too, and so she looks in my hair. She says, oh my gosh, you're infested. There are levels of which you can get lice. There is, oh my gosh, a bug. Oh my gosh, a few bugs. Oh my gosh, a few bugs and some nits. And there's infestation. On a scale of one to infested, I was at Black Plague. I freaked. I hate bugs. I don't like anything touching my skin that's bug-like, so I freaked out. And I don't deal well with freaking out, uh, just because it usually transpires into something else. And um, and so I'm like trying, and I'm shaking, and I'm trying not to uh, totally jump to any conclusions. And and I and then I, a whole bunch of emotions come through my head. I'm angry. I'm uh, scared. I, I know it's not like fatal, but I'm still scared of the fact that there are bugs in my hair, and I'm mad because I know how how lice is transferred. And I know it's from person to person, and I'm going through my head like, who did I hang out with? Who could have had lice? So I spent four hours in my mom's bathroom, pretty much looking like this. 
four hours a night. Uh, I had that many that it took almost eight hours in total to get all of them out of my hair. You don't want lice. I have been in sterile, I've been in like a sterile quarantine bubble. My bed is literally, I have nothing on it. And I, I have just a sheet, a, to, a top sheet, a sheet, and a pillow. And I look like I'm in a freaking hospital bed. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Here are ways not to get lice. Don't share hats. Lice are transferred from person to person, so if uh, if there's even, if there's even the chance that that someone might even have lice, just, just you don't share your stuff. Not hats. Who wants share hats anyway? I don't know. When you're at the movie theater, lean up and don't lean back. Uh, the movie theater seats, unless you have a really cool movie theater that has leather seats, most of them are fabric and uh, lice live on that. I didn't know that until last night. Um, we think that, I think that I actually got a lice from the movie theater. Great. <laughs> if you even suspect that you do have lice, uh, make sure that you have someone check your hair thoroughly. Don't share hairbrushes. Just if you have uh, even the least chance of getting lice, uh, they live on hairbrushes. You have to actually sterilize them when you get lice. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't do the thing. Don't, don't do the thing. My life is a sham. But I want to know what you guys think. And I want to know your story. So leave me down in the comments and tell me about your awkward life stories or your awkward illness stories or anything of the sort. Um, and let's talk about that because I like hearing your stories and it would be fun to actually talk to people about that sort of thing. Um, I'll be coming out with a new video on my um, gaming channel, which is actually me reading your comments because I received a couple that I think need to be addressed. <laughs> Great. Um, and uh, there are some things that I need to speak about in this in that video. So uh, yeah, and um, that will be made later today, hopefully. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, rate, subscribe to come in Winter Cat today. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right, Winter Cat out.